35 drivers, all competing in matched Porsches in the largest single make series in North America. Their goal? To go faster. Find the quickest line. Focus on the corner. Accelerate. Repeat. There are no nannies, no traction control, no ABS. Drivers must master the car, beat the track, and be the best of the field to claim a spot on the podium. This is their challenge. This is a old airbase. They practiced landing and taking off here. Everyone talks about the bumps, it requires a unique setup, it presents a new challenge to the teams also. Basically it was abandoned and then repurposed as a racetrack. It's really physical, gets super hot as well, so it's a challenge for the machine and man. You have to respect uh, Sebring. All the greats have raced here. It's just really intense. Everybody's got the same equipment, so it presents a more equal playing field. For me, Sebring was actually my first ever race in the Porsche GT3 Cup car. This Porsche 911, just the way you run it, you have to have a lot more rear brake. For any young driver, if you could somehow put it together to race GT3 Cup, I really recommend it. When you harness the power of the Porsche, it's a very, very fast uh, layout for a car and very fast setup. The season kicks off at Sebring. There's a definite path there for the young drivers and that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to move that talent through the ranks. It's a great place to start. The top drivers today all came from the Porsche Cup Series. It's all leading and steering you towards going endurance racing in the future, which is ultimately what everyone's goal is. I got into it very late in life relative to a lot of other people that I race against in my series, but through the More Speed Driver Development Program, we're really making the most of it. That's the uh, mark. You're on the mark, buddy. I knew he was a competitor, but he's gotten to a level. You know, we went to Shanghai last year and competed on the world stage. That's what keeps me going, is watching guys that come in through our program succeed, you know, and having fun and getting life opportunities and experiences. first race of the season you know there's a lot of rust to get off but it's also some rules have been changed and the weather conditions versus the last time we were here are different we always talk about peak performance and when to peak and that's coming up next because qualifying is here with matching Porsches there's little a team can do to alter the basics of the vehicle itself but it's their experience and attention to detail that offers the little adjustments that can lead to that split second advantage. The difference between qualifying first or eighth place could be three tenths of a second, and that's almost quicker than you can click a stopwatch. Today here I'm putting new TPMS sensors in the wheel, which are tire pressure monitoring sensors. So we can monitor through the dash while the driver's on the track and see if he's getting a low tire or not. Racing these days is not like it used to be. But the technology that the guys have now, there's no hiding your performance. David has helped Will not only become a proficient technical driver, he's helped him develop the skills to dominate. Porsche factory driver Earl Bamber has joined the team as driver coach. His experience and advice will be welcomed by the team.
we didn't really have that great of a qualifying session. So, you know, anything can happen in the race. You know, there can be caution laps, yellows, wrecks, all that stuff. If I just stay out of that stuff, then I will be the beneficiary of that and advance up the field. So that's really what we're looking forward to right now. We're in the hunt, but we're like seven tenths off. But we can see and go, okay, we lost a tenth here, we lost a tenth there, there's two tenths here, we gained here. We like the competition, Will likes the competition, we would be here if we didn't have it. Just trying to keep everything in check and uh, you know, make sure that we're always working towards the same common goal, which was we want to win. Welcome to the opening race weekend. We're in Sebring, Florida for the one and only combination race where American and Canadian Porsche GT3 competitors shake off their winter cobwebs and prepare for the upcoming 12 race tour. It's a flat six kilometer, 17 turn circuit. It is a handful of great passing zones. It's fast, but certainly bumpy. I'm not gonna try to force the issue too much early on, but to keep pushing, you've gotta stay a little bit outside of your comfort zone. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's important to keep pushing until the very end, because even until the last lap, you don't know what's gonna happen. As we pick things back up near the front of the field, and it is Will Hardeman and Raymond Roschetti. Oh, we got problems, and that's the 42 of Bill Smith. Oh, so good rounding. You know, just take one race at a time and make sure we're in the hunt the whole way so we have a shot at the end. That's, that's our goal. First race here in the 2018 season. With one race under their belts, the team now has valuable data to help them prepare for round two. didn't have any of this back when I raced. The difference between a, a world-class driver and a good driver, we're talking a very, you know, small amount. But that's what we're always dealing with, it's very small amounts of time. You have done another pass like you did on the group on the before that, when you bounced through 17 here. Those guys started fearing you. You know, the opportunities came because you put pressure on them. If you would have told me I would have ended up here, I. I you know, Never quit, man. Yeah. Never quit. Now I have a lot of confidence because I know I have podium pace for the race. We are set to go racing here in Sebring. Race number two. Green flag is in the air and we're underway. We've got problems in the back already. Now this opening lap is crucial. As tire temp is low, now is when you can really take advantage and try to overtake, make up positions, because as the tires come in, it's going to be more difficult. Bill Hardeman all over the back of Max Root. Right, the four wheel flashes on. Right on. Fortunately, just missed a bit heavy off. Go, Steve. We're seeing these guys work through turns 15, 16, and heading down toward the, on the long straightaway towards 17. As they go under the bridge here at Sunset Bend, look at the right front tire pop up off the ground. That just gives you an example of really how rough this track is in some spots. And that was Max Root dipping off the track in through the sand, opens the door for Will Hardeman. Well, it turned out it was a clean move by Will Jean, no question about that. It was awesome. Look it up it and was, go. There was nothing silly there. Hardeman, no rookie in this series, into his fourth year with the More Speed team, last year he had at least one podium in every U.S. weekend. We're going, you know, 115 miles an hour through the apex, and it's so bumpy that the car is just barely hanging on with uh, very little margin for error. Will Hardeman in the 19, that white car just out of frame there, holding on to fourth spot, having a great run. 
It is extremely hard to get on the podium and win races. My personal goal is to get better at this sport and to develop myself, and that only happens when I have competition that is pushing me constantly. And you know these drivers, adrenaline and heart rate is just pumping right now. Will Hardiman in the number 19, he is hanging right on to these top three cars. You know, in situations like this where you've got that first and second place car fighting, sometimes that third place is the spot to be. Second overall, first in the U.S. show. Woo! And your winner today, who's in a hard charger yesterday, driving for more speed out of Austin, Texas, number 19, Will Hardeman! Congratulations to our top three. Feels awesome. The elation is just washing over me. All the preparation, it's just that much sweeter when we get results. I think we just broke through the ice, maybe kicked the door down too. It's a good feeling. Way to go, Will! Yeah, Will. Will. We equate racing to the circus. You come in town, you put up the tent, you run around like crazy people, but when it's all over, you take your lumps, hopefully the car's in one piece, you deal with the emotional highs and lows of however you did, and you put it all back into the uh, truck and you leave. We immediately switch our focus right now to the next round that we have in, in the Porsche Cup Series. We might celebrate a little bit tonight and then uh, back to work. <laughs>